I went to recruiting office in Gallup, New Mexico. I enlisted in the Marine Corps. I went through the boot camp like everybody else. They were pretty strict. They sent me to a confidential area. I walk in, here's a whole bunch of Navajos. The Sergeant Benali says, you're here at Coat Talker School. You're going to be a Coat Talker. You're going to help us. October, I was in Coat School. By November, 5th Marine Division activated. By December, I was already signed out there, the combat unit. So finally, we head out overseas. We're going somewhere. They told us we're going to Tokyo. <laughs> We work every day. We memorize and send messages as fast as we can. In February, we were told we're supposed to land on Iwo Jima. February 19th, 1945. They were bombing, strafing by the airplane. The first group, they were hand-to-hand -hand fighting. It was really terrible. I had an awful feeling. And the first shot, one of the coat tucker got killed. Five coat tucker were wounded, and there were 33 of us assigned to 5th Marine Division. So it was really sad and scary. You don't know where the motor's going to land. Oh, you get shot from sniper. I had no feeling at all when I landed with my unit. Just keep low, go in, and fix up communication equipment or radio. We sent close to 800 messages. There were no mistake. That's how we work as a coat talker. But you always remember what you did, all the things you went through. You went from place to place on the ship and there were Japanese suffering, there were suicide. I know I became so sad that nothing had happened to me. I was protected by the Marine. They were protecting us, we were protecting them. I was lucky, but some didn't get lucky like those got killed on the beach.